My three month trip to Europe wasn't a total waste. Looking back on it today, I see that there are a lot of things that I could have done a little bit differently that would have helped improve my overall experience. Stick around if you wanna learn how to avoid wasting your valuable time traveling. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a pretty big one right off the bat. When you're traveling Europe as a young person and staying at hostels, something that is heavily marketed to you is drinking and party culture. I was younger when I went on my trip, so I was influenced a lot by this. There are a lot of benefits I could have enjoyed simply by limiting or altogether avoiding this part of my trip. First and foremost, you're gonna save money. If you're traveling Europe and you're younger, money is probably an issue. Limiting the amount that you go out and the number of drinks you're consuming, it's definitely gonna make an impact as far as how much money you have to spend to do other things. Another benefit to avoiding party culture is just staying safer. On some occasions, I saw pickpockets try and take advantage of people that were drunk. They would have one person distract them and then someone else would go behind them and try and take out their wallet from their pocket while they were distracted. So just keeping yourself in a more alert state of mind is gonna help you avoid some danger. When you finish your trip, the main thing that you take with you is the memories of your trip. Unfortunately, I feel like a lot of my memories are just foggy. I think when you're in an incredible country, you're there to experience the culture and to see these incredible things. And so making that the focus is gonna help you have a better time overall. Another mistake that I made on my trip was simply packing for the wrong trip. When you're traveling Europe, you can either be doing a lot of outdoorsy stuff or you can be primarily in cities. I think I envisioned myself doing more of the outdoors side of things. So a lot of my clothes were like hiking boots, hiking pants. So when I was in like urban environments, I felt somewhat out of place. Just having a better understanding of what kind of trip you're taking will help you pack so that you're more comfortable just throughout the duration of your trip. I did eventually end up just buying some more clothes just out of necessity. So that is always an option if you do end up miscalculating a little bit there, but it's something I could have saved myself some trouble if I had understood that before I started my trip. Another way you can potentially waste your valuable travel time is by not having a travel bucket list. My trip, I played completely by ear. I had a rough idea of where I wanted to go, but I never really got that granular in my planning time to figure out exactly where I wanted to go. I just made a video outlining my entire itinerary and so I will put that up here so you can click that if you wanna check that out. But the bottom line is the next time I travel Europe, I would like to be a little bit more intentional and rather than just picking the countries I wanna visit, I think it's a really good idea to figure out specific things you want to do in each country and frame your trip more so around that. That way you're always ensuring that you have those highlight experiences to look forward to. If you don't wanna plan, I mean, you can still have a great time. I still had an awesome time. And the nice thing is a lot of hostels are fantastic at providing you with uh, information just on things to do in the area. Also talking to other travelers while you're on the go, depending on who you're talking to, they may have done a different amount of research. And so they can be good sources of information too, just on things you might want to add to your itinerary. My next mistake was not leaving my ego at home while I was traveling. Like I said, I was a bit younger. This trip was my first major trip on my own. And I think a pretty big motivating factor for me was just validating myself in the eyes of others. While I don't think there's anything wrong with just trying to improve yourself, at the end of the day, living for the approval of others is gonna leave you feeling bad about yourself. And I think that being authentic and being humble is gonna help you have a better experience, not only while you're traveling, but also in life and that it's always better to be kind to people than to be cool and to project yourself as something that you're not. Traveling this way also leads you to experiences that you'll enjoy more because you won't be doing something just so you can like post it later and impress others, but because they truly have value to you. My next tip for you and a mistake that I made was not breaking in a good pair of shoes before leaving for your trip. It's really easy to overlook the fact that when you're traveling, you're gonna be on your feet for most of the day. I remember the first few weeks of my trip getting some really bad blisters on my feet. So I could have improved my travel experience simply by buying a good pair of shoes that I liked before my trip 
and going on some walks in them. If you want to do something today for your trip, go buy some shoes and start walking. The combined effect of all of these mistakes and uh, implementing solutions for them, I think would have had a big impact on my trip. I still had a life-changing experience as it was, but hopefully some of these things can help fast track you to having a better and a more fulfilling experience as you travel. If you wanna learn more about what I learned on my trip, you can click on the video that I've linked in the description. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing, but I'll see you guys next time.